Hi, welcome everybody. Axel Fireflurry here, and welcome back to Jenna. She's alive and with us again. Hi! She's alive! <laughs> I'm dead, motherfucker! I keep killing her, and I'm... And it makes me curious as to why she keeps working with me since I keep killing her. Yeah. Many revives. Why do I keep doing this? <laughs> Oh my god. I'm a durable. You're a durable? <laughs> oh god. Alright, well we're gonna talk about our six favorite fairy types. Oh, this should be fun. There aren't oh, like yes. any fairy types to pick from. I know there's the kinds I wanted on this list, but I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna save you for a different type. Yeah, it's so hard. Oh. Alright. I, I will let you go first, and we'll start with number one and work our way to six, so we won't be confused anymore. Well, again, these aren't organized by, like, favorite to least favorite, so it's just kind of winging it, but my first pick, just out of random, is Klefki. On my list, too. Ah, oh, god damn it! Yeah, that's probably going to happen, like, a lot. <laughs> Like, I guarantee you at least half of our list is going to overlap. It's it's probably going to happen, which makes it even cooler. <laughs> okay, so when I first encountered this Pokemon through my ex uh, playthrough, I was a little iffy on this thing because, well, it's fucking keys. And I was just like, oh, no. Oh, no, not this. No, what is this? And, like, since I hadn't played through Generation 5, and I didn't know a lot of them, I was just like, is this through Generation 5 or is this 6? And I was just like, it's a goofy, inanimate object, so I'm going to assume it's 5 until later notice. But I was actually really surprised, and I found it was in 6th Gen, so I was just like, okay, well, that's their one goofy slot for this Gen. And then I just, like, kind of threw it aside. Until Verlissify had to point out that this thing was actually really useful. Like, really useful. I didn't realize it had pranksters, so when I saw all the screen moves and iron defense, I was just like, this could actually become really evil really fast. And turns out I was right, because... One of my friends actually used his Keyblade combo, so putting Klefki right next to Aegislash. Oh my god, I hated that. I hated that so much, I wanted to stab someone. <laughs> but, even though it could be really annoying to face, it's really great to have on your team, and it can actually patch up quite a few holes. Not to mention you still have the, the uh, Swag Play combo, which is evil. But that's that's why I like Klefki so much. It's competitive usage. Not so much on the design, because all I can think when I look at it is boo-boo keys. <laughs> I, are we talking about Spongebob boo-boo keys? Yes. Or, are we talking, or are we talking about when you go visit your like nieces or nephews or little babies and you just whip out your car keys? Ooh, look at these! <laughs> Both, actually. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Just no. Your turn. Why do you like Klefki? Woobly woobly keys. That's pretty much it. Really? It's for the Pokedex entry. Oh. I mean... Oh, when it gets angry and it shakes itself. I'm like, oh. Yeah, it's like, ooh, fear me, bitches. Oh. I'm the scariest motherfucker ever. Oh, that's just wrong. Okay, so since you didn't really have much to say on that, your what's your uh, number five or number two? My number two, Bambi, Xerneas. Oh, Bambiness. I almost thought about putting this on the list, but since it was a legendary, I kind of decided against it. So, yay! I'm almost proud of you. You're almost proud of me. Oh no. Almost. Like, it's a really good legendary. It looks great design-wise. I just kind of didn't have that much attachment to it. You preferred Deathbird, didn't you? No, I didn't really like it either. Or Zygarde. Screw Zygarde. 
Yeah, Zygarde, Zygarde just got no love. It was like a shittier version of Garchomp. And, like, no one uses it. It's a crap version of everything. Yeah. Some some of them have, like, multiple crap versions. I actually have a crap version on my list. <laughs> I, th I think we may actually have one or two. And I think I already have, like, one of those. Yeah, I, I think the only reason I really like Xerneas so much is, first of all, when I first played through X the first time and I saw Xerneas pop up, I shout, Bambi, get out of the meadow! Wow. Just wow. Even, even named it Bambi, but the reason I really like it is just how, just the design is all out amazing. Oh, it's so beautiful. So majestic. And it's shiny version, it looks okay. Yeah, no. The the shiny version reminds me of Toothpaste. Like, specifically the... Colgate. Alright. Yeah. I, I can see it. I'm, I'm picturing it in my in my third eye, my uh, brain vision. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, well, my next choice was the Dene. I mean, look at it. It's so cute, even though it's like a shitty Pikachu clone. It's so cute. It needs another evolution, and then it'll be good. Watch as it gets a pre-evolution. No, it's already tiny enough as it is. It's not even, like, a foot tall. It's like eight inches. And, I mean, like, you can't get much smaller than that without being, like, a fetus. But... I mean, look at That's it. That's what it will be. It's so cute. Electric. It's so cute. I was actually kind of excited as soon as I got a Safari with one. I'm like, hmm, let's see what I can do with this. Looked at it. Nope. Can't do anything. I'll hug it. <laughs> Give it love, but that's about it. Oh, no. Someone, like, someone kind of made this, like, Pachirisu, like, point five, And what they basically did was they gave it Nuzzle. And they had to have cheek pouch with a citrus berry. And then I'm pretty sure they, like, maxed out its defenses as well. But it managed to take a hit, and it got its cheek pouch citrus berry off, and then it got its nuzzle off. So I was just like, oh, that's surprising. I want you to build a team of nothing but Pokemon you find absolutely adorable. Oh, oh my. That would be difficult. No. You know what? I'll do it, too. I'll make an adorable team. Oh, no. Uh, but when, like, when I saw this, I was just like, oh, it's like a mini Raichu. <laughs> like, seriously, it does, even down to, like, the coloration. It's a mini Raichu. It is. Ah. Uh, but, yeah, that's that's all I got for that. Fairy types, our weakest video, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't say that. It's, it's okay. We still have a chance for a comeback. Uh, is it your turn? My turn? Whose turn? Your turn. Okay. Sylveon. Oh, no. On your list, too? Yeah. All right. Two out of six. <laughs> so, one third of the list. Just all. All. Just all. If, despite how creepy its eyes are, and its flesh bows, it's kind of a cute Pokemon. The flesh bows and the eyes are the most adorable part. What's wrong with you? Could you imagine having those little flesh things just rub up against you and give you hugs? Yes, and I'd love it. They're probably, I probably would so soft. Oh my god, I want it. And they probably smell like candy. <laughs> the, the reason I had, I've actually been trying to experiment in double battles with Sylveon, because two things I'm not used to, Sylveon and double battles. And I think it was even our last video where I talked about having a skill swap and using a slack off ability to just give that to something that's going to be a really big annoying threat, like a Scarf user or a Greninja. A talent flame, anything that's just really fast. Have it skip every other turn. Hmm. Blah. 
Oh, no. I mean, if, <laughs> I mean, if you're willing to look at, like, these really obscure abilities, like, uh, Regigigas' ability and just skill swap that. Yeah, isn't it slow start? Yes. Okay. Oh, no, but see, like, the reason why it's my favorite is because it actually has really good usage in doubles. It can make a really mean special defense wall, which I wish I had mentioned that in my video on special defense walls, but apparently I have poo brain. It's okay, you can redeem that here. But yeah, it makes a great special defense wall, and it, since it has pixelate, it can actually pull off some pretty crazy shenanigans if you had transferred it and had hyper voice on it. Because, you know, you get stab, you get, like, friggin' widespread damage moves. Oh, it's just evil. Just evil. And then, of course, you have Wish. You have your Wish Protect sets. Just, you know, annoyed to all else. Oh, there's just, there's a, there's a few things you can do with it. You can even make it, like, incredibly sustaining and give it Drain Kiss. Just be that evil person. I'm trying to think about what I have on my Sylveon, because at one time I had a Evolution team going on. Oh, I did too. Now I was trying to get it up and running for the Evolution team uh, thing on Battlespot, but I was missing my Umbreon. And so I decided not to, because I knew Umbreon was going to be everywhere. It was. I knew it. It's just, just, it's just such a good mixed wall, though, so... But, since we're getting off topic, that was what I had to say for Sylveon. It's cute, and it's competitive. So I would definitely have it on my all-cute team. <laughs> Hooray for cuteness. So adorable! Little pads on its feet. <sighs> Alright. Um, for the baby. Oh, okay, good. That's not on my, <laughs> That's not on my list. So why do you like it? Um, now, I don't know if you watched my video when I did my trainer chat with Finch, but if it's one thing I try to do is know as little about the upcoming games as possible so everything can be a big, wonderful adventure for me and not, okay, I already know everything that's going to go. I'm going to start planning everything. Ha, 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 ha. Going to get a heads up. Like, dude, just slow down there. Calm down. But I saw a picture of the baby. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's going to evolve into something awesome. I want it. And then it gets that big, ugly headdress. And I'm like, oh, the hell is this, Lady Gaga? I was so disappointed. So was I. Uh, it's like the same thing with uh, Fennekin. Like, oh my god, it's so cute. And then it, it gets its uh, breaks. And, and I'm like... Huh, that's actually really cute, too. I like wonder what this is going to be. And then it gets that big, ugly dress. I'm like, ugh. Ugh. Just not what you wanted. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, Stupid pun. Oh, yeah. Just no. Uh, the, the drum kit. Just cuteness. Pretty much just cuteness. Just cuteness. That's, that's going to be, like, this entire list. I feel like... My entire list was because they were competitive and cute, and it's just like, oh, no, it's just cute. It's just cute. And don't worry. I'll, I'll have something manly if we if we end up working together for Psychic and Fires and all some of the other types. Don't worry. We'll have some awesome manly hoo -ha. Oh, great. I'll, I'll make it up for that. <sighs> Whew. Well, my next pick is Clefable. Oh, don't tell me it's on your list, too. It's not on my list. Yay! It's okay. okay. You, you, you dodged a bullet. Okay. So, I mean, it has a lot of great abilities with it. So, unaware, so you can, un like, ignore stat changes. Uh, you have Magic Guard, so you only take damage from attacks. And Cute Charm, which, I mean, it, it can be useful, but I wouldn't say it's that useful. But then you have, like, those... Awesome power up moves. Just, just, ah. Oh. I actually didn't know this thing got belly drum, though. Like, it would be weird to try and make a physical set. But I could see it maybe. 
but I don't think it has that many, like, attacking moves that are actually useful. Sadly. It'd be, it'd be an interesting surprise. It's like, surprise! Not really, because this thing ha doesn't... I don't think it even has stab for its, like... Yeah, it doesn't even have stab. It just has, like, normal fighting and... Yeah, that's it. It's normal I could have fighting. sworn play rough was a physical move. I don't think this thing has play rough. Lame. Yep, no play rough. That's kind of sad, actually. But... I mean, do you still have the, uh, what is it, cosmic power sets? Yeah. Cosmic power on this thing can be incredibly evil. And you could also use it as, like, a great support Pokemon by using, oh, what is it? Not Healing Wish. Well, I guess Healing Wish could work, too. But I felt like this thing had Heal Pulse. Could have sworn. Yeah, it does. But... Being able to restore your partner's HP, that is great. And then you also have aromatherapy to cure status conditions, also great. Just, it's so great. It's so great. I have too much love for this Pokemon and not enough time to give it. You poor thing. I know. So sad. I will, I will weep for you. Yes, just, just weep for me. Tears. Tears. Next. All right. Now, feel free to grab your shame hammer for this. Oh, it's been but, sitting next to me the entire time. Okay, good, because you may want it for this one, but Florgis. But you just... Uh, why? Spot filler for the six. Oh, uh, Spot for filler for the six, and I kind of like to make. It, I'm, I was bored, and I was slightly in a hurry, and, I mean, I like kind of making fun of Florges, but it does have some competitive use. I mean, doesn't it have a ridiculous special defense. Yeah, it does. Like, it does have good usage, but I feel like it's better suited for singles than doubles because, in doubles, you have to worry about two attackers. So you can have a physical and special Pokemon on the field, and this thing can't take physical hits worth shit. Yeah, see, there's the interesting, because I'm a singles battle, battler for the moment, and you're the doubles battler, so that's where we're going to have fun. Hoo-ha. Oh, the hoo-ha fun? The, the hoo-ha fun, where I will admit that no battle style was better than the other. Uh, hold on a sec. Sorry about that. No, you're good. No. Okay. Where were we? Singles and doubles. Yep, pretty much I it. Think. Just yeah. All I said was you're a singles battle. I'm I'm a singles battle. You're the doubles player. Although eventually I will get into doubles. Yeah, I'm gonna have to I... force you to do that though, aren't I? It's it's more of the I'm super paranoid because I'm barely competent as a singles battler, and then amping it up to like doubles. I'm like, oh crap. Yeah, I hear people say that, like, when they've been playing singles for such a long time, it's hard to switch over to doubles and vice versa. Although, yeah. the trade back between doubles to singles is a bit easier. It's just you have to worry about, like, certain setups and whatnot, but everyone says that it's harder to transfer from singles to doubles than anything. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I can do multi-battles. In fact, if I'm do going to do two Pokemon at a time against two Pokemon at a time, I would love to just start off doing multi-battles because then I could team up with somebody who knows the double battles a bit better and say, hey, let's plan this and then wean my way off. And so I consider it to be like training wheels. Hmm. All right. Either, the, either that or you can sit me down and say, you, I am your Yoda. You're Luke. I'm teaching you the force. Oh, man. Well, that's why you had to sub to my channel, right? So I could teach you doubles? Yes, but I may need private lessons because I'm a moron. Oh, no. You're not a moron. And I have like 100,000 questions. I don't want to just spam your comment section. That's what but it's what for! I know comments are for praise. No, and they're not. They're for questions, praise, criticism, and and silly things but not, not negativity. 
like just downright negativity like some people actually have a funny comment relating to that but I'll save that for later okay well the next Pokemon on my list is Slurpuff not on my list yay oh man oh man but again this was just because Verlissify had kind of shown that this thing actually could be really crazy especially since it gets belly drum and it actually has play rough unlike some Pokemon but no, no. <laughs> Not to mention, this thing actually has some good special attack moves if you just wanted to go special. And then you have Cotton Guard, you have Aromatherapy, and you even have Light Screen. Just, just, this thing could be so useful. It's so useful. I want to use it. I'm going to use it, and I got a shiny of it, and I'm using it because it's mine. I still want you to name my Slurpuff Colonel Puffers. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Hooray. I'm so excited to use Colonel Puffers. Oh, you're such a dork. Which I'm a manly dork. No, just a dork. <laughs> All right. What's your next Pokemon? Uh, sadly, Deonsi. I'm okay with that. I mean, it is cute. It's cute, and, like, have you seen it's mega? Yes, just the grace and the majesticness of it. Oh, my goodness. I was waiting for her to be, like, holding a parasol. Just like, Made of diamonds. Oh, yeah. It's like, why is, is this umbrella so heavy? Oh, how can you lift this thing, woman? Yeah, use that as a weapon for, like, some awesome special attack that Deontay gets. <laughs> yes. yes. That'd be great. No, 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 no. Gets the umbrella, and then when he uses Diamond Storm, the umbrella breaks off, and then it does the attack. Oh, that would be so cool. Yes. Oh, I want this. I need this. I need this. I mean, the reason the reason I like Deontay is because I've been experimenting with it, and it's actually a really decent setup, Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Because my current Deonsi has both screens, Stealth Rocks, and I believe Protect, and it's holding Light Clay. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, is this for singles or doubles? Singles. Hmm. Do I may be able to transfer it over to doubles. You may want to put, like, at least one attacking move on it, because... Taunt is a thing, especially in singles, and if you get that thing taunted, it's done. Since it only has status moves, so I may I may look into because I actually have several Deonsies that I've yeah. been using for experimentation. Because I had a friend who was so generous and gave me like two, Aww. and then I had then I had another friend who gave me one, and then I wanted an English one, so I power saved one because if it's one thing I like my Pokemon to have is English names. I don't like the little blocky names down at the bottom like Korea or whatever so picky I'm not picky I'm just selective you're picky I mean but it's but yeah I like it because it's graceful I love the design I love its competitive use I mean it has great potential oh yeah I have I have faith in it everyone's like oh it's just a trophy Pokemon no no it is not Oh, hell yeah. But, well, I think we're down to our last Pokemon. Yes, indeed. Okay, my last Pokemon. And this is just... Actually, I'm going to say that this one is by far my favorite. Like, it's adorable. It's useful. It's evil. Just like... Aromatis? No. <laughs> Togekiss. It's adorable. It's so adorable. I mean, it's it's even called the Jubilee Pokemon. It's so happy. Look at it. It's so cute. I want it. I need it. And it actually, like, it has some amazing abilities behind it. So, you have Serene Grace, which boosts the likelihood of, of added effects happening. So, let's say Flinch is 30%. Well, now it's 60%. So... That's going to be funny. 
Uh, what else? Oh, there's there's a bunch of other moves. I mean, it actually does get flamethrower. So, and ooh, ancient power. Imagine getting off all those stat boosts. Even though it only has boosted to 20%. Just imagine getting off all those stat boosts. Oh, definitely. Oh, it's so evil. Uh, what else? I mean, this thing could actually be a good support Pokemon, too, with the amount of bulk it has. Its defense is a little meh, with, like, paired to its HP. But it can still be useful. Not to mention, it does have an immunity to ground types. And dragon types, so that's two immunities. So, just, like, like that's, that's two things you don't need to worry about right there. So, Garchomp, nope. Like, maybe if it ran Rock Slide, or Iron Head, or Poison Jab, then yeah, I'd see it being a threat. But, meh. I still like it. It's so cute. It's so cute. And it's so useful and evil. I'm gonna... Does this look like the face of mercy to you? No. Just no. Oh, see, I hope that when Oras comes out, they can somehow make Togekiss legal. Because it's not Kalos native. And I want to use it. I just, I just want to use it. So what's your last Pokemon? I thought I had gone through all six. Klefki, Flebebe, Forge, Sylveon... Xerneas, uh, I ju I'm looking at Deontay. Oh, okay, that was your last Pokemon. Then I'm derping. It's okay, I just derp too, because I'm looking at a picture of Deontay, I'm like, what's your name again? You done derped. You just, but derp is extreme. You done derped. Alright, well, then in that case, we're going to have to end the video because we have yep. nothing else. The, the video is done, and I think this is probably our calmest video ever. We haven't really gone crazy bananas in this one, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, thankfully. Thank you all so much for joining us again today. Feel free to check out some of my other videos. Feel free to check out Turret Mobs if you're into double battles or looking into getting looking into double battles. She is a great person to listen to, great person to work with. So go, see her videos, Yay. like them all. Alright, and I will see you all next time.